As we mentioned at the top of the show, Chicago will host the 2024 Democratic National Convention. President Biden made the final decision, saying it will give Democrats the opportunity to tout their progress, particularly, he said, on the economic front. Illinois Democratic Senator and DNC Vice Chair Tammy Duckworth joins us now. Senator, there's no reason you would remember this, but in March of last year, on this very program, I asked you about the prospects for Chicago landing the Democratic National Convention. You said you were leading the charge and were confident Chicago would prevail. Your reaction? I am euphoric. I think this is wonderful and thrilled to have received the call from the White House earlier today that we uh, had been selected. And were you anticipating that for weeks, or was this somewhat of a surprise? We we knew it was a close uh, it was a close close race with uh, Georgia and and New York. Uh, both both cities put up a very good effort, um, but we had received the final recommendation of the Democratic National Committee's uh, evaluation committee. You know, the team that actually went out and looked at every city, and they had finally came through and said that they recommended us. So we knew that we were uh, in the running, but ultimately it was the president's decision. And I'm so pleased that uh, uh, we were selected. And who called you? Um, Steve Rochetti from the White House did. I don't doubt that at all. I don't speak on behalf of your Democratic colleagues, Senator Ossoff and Warnock, but why Chicago? is better than Atlanta, considering what's recently happened in Georgia, and that's important for presidential campaign politics and for the Democratic majority in the Senate. Yes, well, I'm a big fan of both of our, our my colleagues from Georgia, and I know Georgia put up a very good effort. I think at the end of the day, it was a combination of um, uh, many different things that put Chicago over the top. Uh, number one, infrastructure-wise, um, the hard infrastructure of things is that we are uniquely positioned to host a convention of this size in a very seamless way. Uh, and then also, you know, we are uh, a very much a pro-labor state. If you want to send out the messaging uh, for the Democratic Party that we are the party of working families, we are the party that looks out for um you know, a uh, workforce development uh, uh, for labor rights, then you need to be in Illinois. Um, uh, also, uh, we have uh, really made ourselves a center for women's reproductive choice in the country. And so uh, all of that put together along with um, the fact is, if you want to speak to the most number of battleground states in 2024, you need to be in the Midwest. You need to be where the blue wall is. Um, and 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 we're it. Um, you know, you were talking about Senate races that are up in Wisconsin, Ohio, Pennsylvania, you know, Michigan. Um, and so we really are the center of the country, the place where you can reach the most battleground states. And it all came together for us. Senator, you mentioned abortion and access. I want to get not your reaction, because I'm pretty sure what that's going to be to the judge's ruling last Friday out of Texas. But do you think that ruling should be adhered to? There have been some Democrats and even one Republican who said that that ruling should just be ignored. Yeah, you know, I, I that that hearing is atrocious, but uh, I also respect the judiciary as a co-equal branch of government. Um, and frankly, uh, I don't want to open that Pandora's box, that can of worms where we have one branch of government starting to ignore uh, the judiciary. Uh, I think we need to bring this to the American people and talk to them about uh, um, the Republican Party and what they're doing to try to enact a universal national ban on access to choice, even in states like mine, where we have made it clear, where our voters have made it clear that we want access, we want to maintain access to choice. Is is there any federal legislation in this space that you would support, Senator Duckworth, in terms of access or limiting it in any term, term of weeks or anything like that, as far as abortion I would, itself? I would fully, fully support um, uh, enacting Roe v. Wade into law, along and, with the, uh, the restrictions under uh, Roe v. Wade. So that would be uh, first trimester and some exceptions in the second trimester? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. So as you know, pitifully, possibly inevitably, Louisville's name was added to the long list of American cities marred by a mass gun shooting. Illinois earlier this year passed and the governor signed very restrictive Gun laws dealing with assault weapons, they're now hung up in court. What's the situation in Illinois? And what's your sense of what America needs to do and say about this epidemic currently? Well, studies show that something like 20 percent of all Americans at, at this point now know someone personally who was a victim of gun violence. Uh, bottom line, we need to ban assault style weapons. 
uh, we need to ban high capacity magazines. Uh, this shooter apparently went out and bought this AR-15 that he used, that they used to massacre uh, their co their coworkers. Uh, they just bought this gun the uh, last week, I believe. Uh, we need to ban this weapon of war. Listen, I was a soldier for 23 years. I carried an M16. I carried an M4. I know what an assault rifle can do. Um, these are. Uh, you know, this is this is a firearm that's meant to be used on a battlefield to stop the enemy. This is not something that you use for hunting. This is certainly not something uh, that should be on the streets of our cities. And so we can right now today pass universal background checks. We can pass uh, an assault um, weapons ban. We can pass a ban on high capacity magazines. Uh, those last two things are one of the uh, most common denominators involved in um, mass shootings in this country. And yet, you know, Senator, in Illinois experience, it did just that at the state level. It immediately got challenged in court, and with the recent Supreme Court ruling in a New York case, that law in Illinois is in jeopardy. It is. And, you know, we need to remind the, the voters uh, uh, which, uh, you know, which legislators are the ones that are kowtowing to the gun lobby and to the NRA and who is actually working uh, to protect them and their children in their schools. Uh, and frankly, we need to take that message back to the American people and people need to vote. If you if you are tired of gun violence and you're tired of the fact that we have had more mass shootings in this country than there have been days in the year, uh, then you need to call your Republican legislators and ask them why they continue to put the well-being of the NRA and gun manufacturers over the well-being of your neighbors and your families and your kids. Illinois Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth. Senator, thank you.